speed has always been important, but what's really coming around is, is AI. If you know, data is a lifeblood of AI. If you walk around these booths here, everyone's talking about AI from being able to uh, drive a, a customization with customers on personalization on what they want, from being able to train their models to being able to keep things accurate with more and more data. So data is part of AI and the keynote speaker even today talked about, you know, AI is all about the data. Well, to free your data in today's uh, telecom operations, there's a lot of different systems. So the data is are siloed within systems. When they communicate between each other is through point to point interfaces. So it's not shared within others. Uh, that data can be uh, fragmented and then sometimes they, uh, and that data can get old. Some customers try to build data lakes and, but that data is often built and loaded through process, uh, through uh, uh, batch processes. So it can be stale and latent. And so that's not the best for AI. And so as we talk to different customers, that's what they're trying to uh, achieve with more real-time data. The big question is we don't want to go in and interrupt anything a telco is doing today. They need to have their current operations. We want to provide an overlay solution that can be unintrusive. So what we want to do is anything we're, we're providing is a way to, to listen to processes going on and to be able to put it onto the event stream. And that immediately shares all that information to any system that needs it, including uh, AI. So in our first go around with um, uh, Free Your Data, we're looking at TMF APIs and being able to listen to them. They're a good model with the payload defined already and customers know how to understand the information we can share. And then that data comes in in real time. It's no longer batched and it, come, and it can be consumed right away with AI. Yes, this whole Free Your Data is something that we can deploy without deploying our current BSS and OSS components. It's meant to free the data within a telco environment. So doing consulting and identifying the key events they want, key business events they want to track, they, we can put those on our message bus and, and then provide ways to power their AI with that data, power revenue with like churn reduction, and also being able to power their productivity with, uh, with dashboards and single panes of glass. So that can all be done without our components, but of course, all our components from billing and ordering and orchestration and provisioning all fit on top of this uh, seamlessly. Yeah, in Copenhagen, we did a catalyst. It was phase two. What we provided was, Wavelo provided a way to have the real-time information feeding three different AI engines. So we were providing network data and business operational data to solve a problem of flying thousands of drones in emergency situations. So we had to track where the drones were and provide that information to the, our assurance partners. We had to make sure that they had power. We had to uh, uh, spin up new network slices to be able to make sure that they had enough capacity to run the applications from the drones and then be able to bring all the drones home. So all that was done through our core using event-driven architecture providing instantaneous data to all the different AI engines. Wavelo is a BSS OSS provider, but it's built upon an event-driven architecture that helps provide data effortlessly and, and instantaneously to any other consumer of that information like AI, AI engines.